Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But if you need to, you can always find us online at tarpleymusic.com. So I got another acoustic guitar here from Gretsch, part of the Jim Dandy series. This is the concert style body. Now, this is the uh, Frontier Stain finish. These are also available in a Rex Burst, which is basically a three-color sunburst. And I gotta be honest, you know, when I saw the pictures and stuff online, I was like, eh. I wasn't real sure, but it, it looks really good in person. So I was like, oh, cool, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so if you have kind of gone online and shop, I, I, from my personal opinion, I, it definitely looks a lot, lot, lot better in person. So it's nice. Uh, nice, just brown, uh, very classy kind of a brown color. It looks much better in person. So, uh, and it is a semi-gloss. Now these are all laminated basswood, okay? Um, which is a good tone wood for the money, and that's a big reason why they're able to keep these at a ridiculously affordable rate for what it does. So back sides and top, all laminated basswood. It does have X bracing. The neck is made out of NATO, and they're using a walnut fretboard, uh, which across the Jim Dandy line, which I think feel just fine. Uh, and it is a 12 inch radius, so it's a great playing surface for a concert acoustic. And uh, it is 18 frets. It does meet right here at the 14th um, fret there. And uh, so a synthetic bone nut and compensated saddle here. This is walnut. The bridge is walnut as well, uh, the same as the, the fretboard. Compensated saddle here means that it is compensated to keep your intonation or your uh, tuning accurate all the way up uh, the neck. So very important there. Nice, really cool, vintage kind of looking uh, open gear tuners. And I like these old school white knobs. Uh, I think it really uh, combined with like the binding and even the nut and the saddle really kind of pops out, which is cool. Uh, other than that, it's just a, a nickel finish. The gears are actually kind of like a brass style uh, finish there. So really cool vintage -y, three aside. Uh, and then it's got an aged white pit guard with the Gretsch G sitting in there. And of course, neck binding and then simple body binding. So this is a really great affordable guitar. I mean, we were really impressed with these uh, when we uh, the rep had come over and showed us the Jim Dannys. We're like, what? <laughs> so, uh, and that's that's truth. And so the beauty of these is we'll be able to uh, just, uh, these, this does not have a pickup in it. So we are literally just going to mic it and try to give you a, a representation of how we feel. Um, these are just a really great value, sound really good, look really good for the money.
mic up the guitar and listen to it by itself, but what if we threw it in a mix with the song I recorded before? Let's find out. Hit it, boys. <laughs> So the Gretsch uh, Jim Dandy series all around. It's a great series. Uh, this is a, there's a concert, a dreadnought, and a parlor, um, and I've got to play all three of them. Uh, and I, I, me personally, I love the feel of the concert, uh, this body, uh, but all three have a very good uh, purpose, in my opinion, as far as size and what they can really be used for. And like I said, this this is really much prettier than it looked um you know, on the on the pictures when we first saw, and uh, I know that we've got the camera capability here to show you really how great this guitar looks. Um, but the big thing for me as a teacher of many many years, I would love to see a student have something like this. Very affordable, stays in tune, sounds good, looks good. Um, it's not going to kill their hand uh, trying to learn chords and stuff. And that's kind of the trifecta, right? For for a guitar, you know, in the, in a few hundred bucks range. Uh, so it's just great. Um, I hope you got a good idea kind of what this sounds like and some interest in it. And if, you know, comment, let us know what you think of, uh, what, of the guitar itself, you know, and if you have any comments on, on the video or questions or whatever, we definitely try to get to those as well. But if you like the video, just give me a like. It really helps us uh, it really does. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed, you know, of course, subscribe to the channel there and go on to our channel and you'll see we have a plethora of videos uh, on there. And uh, the library just gets bigger and bigger. And uh, if you'd like to know as we're dropping uh, new videos, we do every week. We will have new videos that drop. You can just turn on notifications and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.